Hello and welcome to another edition of the Avid Screencast. My name is Christian Förster and today I want to show you how to automate title creation using Marquis Auto Titler tool. This will work for any number of titles that have the same look, say subtitles or lower thirds. We'll do a very basic title just to show you how it works, but you can create very elaborate titles in Marquis and use them as templates, of course. Now, before we start, uh, make sure that in your settings, the marquee title settings are on marquee or ask me, otherwise you won't be able to open a marquee from within Media Composer. So check that the settings are correct and go to tools, title tool, marquee and marquee will open. There we go. Ooh, she looks creepy. Now the first thing we'll do is show the action or title save zones by going to view, save action title. And there you have the nice zones. And now we'll start creating the lower third. Now this is going to be a very, very basic lower third. Let's go with the good old Helvetica. Title one, name. It actually doesn't matter what you write in here, that will be uh, changed later on. Create a new title and say job or, you know, whatever. Let's make that a bit smaller. Whoa, not that small. <laughs> and go for the name. Okay. Now we have two text boxes. Each of them will be changed individually. To fill this template with content, with actual content, we use a text file. Text file looks just like that. This will be a making of the Hurt Locker just because I watched that <laughs> a couple of, couple of days ago. I actually liked it. And so <laughs> I've just copied uh, some of the cast uh, from from the IMDB. And we have a name field and a job field within each title. They will be filled out individually, so you need to separate them by line. So this will be in the name field, this will be in the job field. And a blank line separates the different titles. So an enter separates the different fields of the title, and the blank line separates the different titles from each other. So we'll create a couple of titles, a good dozen, I guess. So this is just a basic text file with, you know, nothing fancy in there. Now, how does Marquis know which line is the name and which line is the job? To tell Marquis that, we'll have to give specific names uh, to each text box. So, Go down here to the Layers tab and open the layer one. There you can see it's two text boxes. And the first text box is the one that's called Job in here. So we have to rename that. And it, you know, for me, it doesn't work just renaming it here. I type and nothing, nothing actually happens. I don't know if that's a mistake in my version or whatever happens. So I can't rename it here. So what I have to do is go to window properties info gives me this info window and i'll rename this to text box 2 because it's the second line in our text files right the second line is always the job the first line is the person so let's call that text box 2 Hit enter a couple of times, otherwise sometimes it doesn't work. <laughs> and there's the name text box. Rename that to text box one. As you can see, there's a naming convention. You have to name the text boxes, text box one, text box two, and so on, and so on, and so on. And the auto titler will fill out these titles accordingly. So now we have named our text boxes 
and we could actually start creating the titles. But before we do that, it's always a good idea to drag the length of the text box to its longest possible length. <laughs> Otherwise, you might have line breaks in the titles that you create later on if the name is longer than the word name, which it probably is. So we'll just drag these long. And now we can create the titles. Go to File, Auto Titler, point to the text file that you created, say Open, starting title number one, yeah, that's all right. And all possible titles have been created. There they are. All the titles are there, all ready and done, except for maybe call Yulioson, <laughs> because he had special characters in his name, and that didn't quite work. So you still have to check the titles before you render them out. So, okay, but that is the only one that didn't quite work out. All the other ones are all there. If that doesn't save you a lot of time, then what does? I'm not sure. And now you can save them all to a bin. And you can just start working away with them. I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> and it can save you a huge amount of time. And most people don't know about this, uh, this uh, thing and I think that's, that's too bad. <laughs> All right. So uh, thank you for watching this episode of the Avid Screencast. If you like, go ahead and subscribe to the podcast at avidscreencast.com or in iTunes. Uh, on the website, you can also watch past episodes and comment if you like. If you have any comments or suggestions, you can also drop me a line at mail at avidscreencast.com. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash avidscreencast, and on Facebook, facebook.com slash avidscreencast. If you'd like to see what I do in my day job, check out editguy.de. Once again, thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.